Okay, so we have our engine, we have our hydraulic pump, we have our coupler to mount the two together. Let me mark this up quick. Perfect. Almost. Hey, when that happens. So, uh, I think we're going to need some flanges so we can build a support system so that these two motor and pump connections can be solid as one unit. So, how are we going to do that? Uh, let's cut some steel on the plasma table. We'll do a little welding uh, and we'll make it look nice and pretty. And then we'll be back here to mount this thing together. So let's pop open Fusion 360. We've got our 2D profiles laid out. We extruded those flanges with the right dimensions. Um, and then we're going to select them. When, through the manufacturing process, this will simulate the, uh, the cutting of the actual plasma table. Real fancy. So I think we're ready to cut these parts. Okay, well, ready to cut the hydraulic flanges. So we'll do those two first. Um, so we've got the plasma table laid out. So we've got our tool set up, got things zeroed out. Um, this is like 3 6 inch, inch steel, should uh, give a pretty good cut. So that's all ready to go. And we've got our uh, laptop set up. I think we've got everything hooked up, so it's just a matter of hitting the go button and um, We got our first bracket cut out. Did a pretty good job, I think. It's a little warm yet, so uh, we'll cut the second bracket and then we'll polish both these pieces up. Um, clean the holes out a little bit. Uh, we have a little bit of dross on some of those parts, which is normal with the plasma table, but clean up with a flap disc. And uh, we'll be on our way to making a hydraulic power unit. Alright, so we're making some progress on the hydraulic power unit that we need to start the jet engine. So we uh, consulted our schematic as much as we could. We got hydraulic lines. We got our motor. We finished fabbing up this bracket. So we'll clean it up and paint it. Um, but now we have a way that our pump and our motor are coupled together. We've got a small five gallon hydraulic oil tank. We've got a bucket of hydraulic fluid and if we plumb these things together some of the fittings that we need and some of our lines that we had custom made this should be everything we need to get the motor rolling over so cross your fingers it works the first time but we'll see All the hydraulic fittings and everything wrapped up for the hydraulic pump unit. There's a couple little things to wrap up. We got to 
weld a couple of gussets and brackets and things just to mount the motor on. Um, so it's built in to the frame that it's sitting on. So now that that's all wrapped up, I'll show you around real quick. Uh, so we got our motor sitting in front of the jet engine here. We routed our lines. We've got our control valve. We only need one valve, so we need to block the second one off. Um, and that's what these open fittings are. So we've got our valve. We've got all our hydraulic lines plumbed. It's a complete rat's nest, so don't try to follow these lines anywhere. But the big thing is our feed and our return and our scavenge line are hooked to our pump now. And the pump's sitting down here. So we've got some fittings there for that. And then that's running to our pump in here. So we have a feed and a return from our tank to our pump. And that's being driven off that motor bracket we made earlier. So this whole thing is getting pretty close to go. Uh, the last thing we'll need is to hook up the oil tank, the oil lines, and there's a few electronic components, very, very few electronic components. So we'll get those hooked up and I think we're ready to start spinning this thing over and see what it does for us. So uh, stay tuned and hopefully we'll see this thing fire up shortly. See you guys.